today I will be sharing with you some of my favorite bags. I would say recently I'm a little bit more impulsive, but back then I definitely think way more. Actually right, I wanted to do a full bag collection because I've received a lot of requests about that. But then, after digging out quite a bit, I realized that I have limited space around here. So I actually dug out quite a number of my favorite ones because I have a lot of favorites. Alright, before we move on with the video, I just want to put a disclaimer out there that I actually bought all these bags using my hard-earned money. And yeah, so this video is not meant to be boastful. I just wanted to share some of the things that I like and it is also requested by a lot of you on my Instagram. I'm just gonna start off with the nearest bag and it is this Prada Multi Pochette. And recently I just used it with the chain so I detached the strap. This is really one of my most used bags and I also sent it for washing at least two times already. A little bit stained also. I think I got it before the price increased also. I use this almost every day of my life because it just matches everything. Like it even matches my outfit right now. I love 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 this. But this is from the vintage collection. I think they still sell it. This is my favorite bag. It's just like super simple and this is one of my recent purchase and since I love this Prada one so much right I decided that I'm gonna use this one pretty often too so I got it and it's furry I think anything furry right just gets me I mean it's very very soft so it does fit a lot of things inside right beside me okay this one let's talk about this this is a small pochette thingy it's the daisy collection when it first released right i was going everywhere to look for it turns out it's only available in the coach outlet when i went there it was like already sold out and there was this like super long wait list so i contacted my relatives overseas because i was quite desperate about this they couldn't get it also i think after that they just restocked a lot of this on the racks so i just got it off the rack yeah and it was also at a sale i actually really like the size of this because it fits my phone most importantly and there are also a lot of compartments inside it's just the perfect size for me to bring out my daily stuff. Right behind me, we have this boxy bag from Oriani. So this is the brand. This is actually a Korean brand if I'm not wrong and it was gifted to me by the brand. I absolutely love this. I mean the shape of this is perfect. It fits a lot of things. So you see, it's just like that. Oh my gosh, that's my pet. It comes with this strap but I don't use the strap because the strap is way too long. Very, very adorable. And it also matches all the outfits. It kind of makes all the outfit like, oh my. And the leather itself is not the very high maintenance kind. Next, what do we have? Okay, let's pick this. This one is from Celine. And of course, I love the size of it. If I have more things to bring out, I will take this. But because I'm quite a small bag person on other days, I don't really take this big bag out. I got this from a reseller, so the inside is quite like a little bit dirty. For this Celine bag, I think I only got it for like, I can't remember how much I got it. How much did I get? 600. Over here, I have a big box from Burberry. So I got this as a gift from my boyfriend. Oh, he was saying that I need a bigger backpack because I don't have a backpack that fits my laptop and my iPad. So if I were to go travel or head to the office, right, this is the perfect bag for me. I really, really like because it is quite thin, you can see. Too small and compact for me, and yet it fits everything that I need. I also really like the white linings of this. This one, I love it so so much. But when I first bought this, it's obviously meant for travels and stuff because I don't really use backpack when I'm in Singapore. But then when I went to travel around with this, right, I realized it doesn't fit anything at all. It's much much smaller than I thought. It is super super cute, definitely. So I've been using this like on the daily when I head out on a normal day, but it's definitely not a travel bag because it's too small. It's super duper cute. I've shown this before, so I'm not gonna talk so much about it. But this is also another backpack that I love. One thing I don't really like about this is the leather at the bottom. It's super scratchable. A lot, a lot of scratches now. It is a very good purchase because I use it so often. I think I need to send it for washing, that's for sure. Like quite yellow now. Okay, I think I can move on to the more luxury bags that I have. I would say that I hardly bring this up. This one is from Chanel and it is the small size one. It is the lamp skin and honestly, it looks like it's filled with scratches right now. But I don't even use it that often. So lamp skin is extremely, extremely high maintenance. I mean, it is definitely a very, very classic bag. The value of this is like increasing. Oh, why are there so many scratches on the bag? I don't know, I got this in my early 20s. I'm too old to count right now. 
Well, I got this in Paris. So this is another Chanel I have here. So it is this Chanel Vanity Box. And it is also in lambskin. The thing about these bags is that the strap is extremely long. So I can't really use this unless I hold it like that. I think I can make it work with cable tie but it's going to be quite ugly also. Very very cute bag, that's for sure. It's not a regret. I like it. I don't think I sh I don't think I need to show this also but since it's beside me, I'm just going to take it out quickly in my what's in my bag video. I love this. It fits a lot of things and it is also lambskin. Another bag that I love because it's classic. Okay, so let's move on to this Louis Vuitton. So I've shown this in my previous video also. This is the Noé purse. I really really like it actually. Although it doesn't fit my phone, fits every other thing. <laughs> Nothing much to dislike about this apart from the fact that of course it opens up very easily. Yeah, you can use it with a strap or you can use it like this. Small, very very small. <laughs> this is more like a pouch, okay. But it is a mini pochette. I think it's called a mini pochette. It is a very very rare find in Singapore, so I got it. It doesn't fit the phone obviously, but it fits cards and like lipstick, hand sanitizer and stuff like that. Actually, it fits pretty much everything else other than your phone. My most recent purchase or so, Pink Denim Speedy. It is their very, I think it's a very new collection. I think the downside of this is that, right, it is denim, so it's cloth and it's pink, it's white, basically everything to get stained oh, on. No. So when I bring this out, right, I have a little bit of an anxiety. Like, I can't just throw it anywhere. And the good part about this, right, is that the strap is adjustable. It fits me, and there are actually two more holes to go. It's a very precious bag for sure. I love it. Okay, so I also have the LV Nano Speedy, which I I love but this one is the vintage collection one so I got it from like a reseller and the strap is removable which is great but then it is too long for me so I had to knock it. I sent it for washing once then I think the leather got a bit fragile so my zip was broken. I have my padlock here which is supposed to be at the side but the leather broke here also. It is quite um torn but I actually really like to bring this out because I don't need to care too much about it anyway. And surprisingly, it fits quite a lot of things. It even fits my phone inside. I saw a tag inside the other time. I think it's from the 90s. So it has come a long way. <laughs> Let me talk about my wallet on chains. I have two only. This is how I usually like to hold it. I kind of just, you know, wrap my strap around. I mostly bring this out for like wedding maybe. And I also have one from Prada, the wallet on chain. I have this for a long time already. I think like 6-7 years. This is actually a gift for my ex. <laughs> I also use it like that. So I only have two wallet on chains because I don't think I reach out for them that much. Next, I have this Strothberry bag. In case you don't know the brand, this is um, the brand Strothberry. And this is actually sent to me by them. Love it so much, so I got two of them. I have one in the classic cream and black. There is just this strap right here inside. So this one is from the newer collection. And I also have a bigger one. It's like somewhere inside my closet. Cause I cannot dig it out. It is this big and it is maroon. Fits a lot of things. I got the exact same model as what Meghan Markle was using. Alright, okay, so that's it for today's video. It is getting a bit long, so I'm just gonna cut it here. And so these are the bags that I have been enjoying. And some of them, although I don't use it so often, I still really, really like them. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video as always. And if you have any videos that you would like to watch or any requests, please comment down below at the comment section. And thank you so much for watching my video as always and I'll see you all very very soon. Bye!